So we finally just pulled in. We found this campsite um, outside of Parker. You go past the mountain that says Parker, or it has a P on it. Now we're here and it's nice. And so I guess in other news, we can look at what you do when you're camping, but you don't wanna unpack everything and your trailer's still attached and you're just gonna to move tomorrow. Basically, it's pretty simple. Um, it really took us maybe five, 10 minutes to unpack. So the first thing we do is we pull the ATV out and then we'll just open this up so you can see what it looks like. That's the inside of the trailer on a day that it's all packed up. So the front of it's all full of stuff still, but we have enough room, we can throw the mattress down. We've been sleeping in here for about three weeks now. And then inside, all this stuff just sticks where it is. But pretty much all we had to do was pull out a couple of big things from the front so that we could easily walk in from the door when the back drop down door is closed. And then we're still connected. So we just look for a spot that was pretty level. And then we just pull power. So we have, as you can see, we got solar on the top of the truck. So that's the only solar we have. We just have this one 190 watt panel and we've got I can't remember. We have three batteries, Chris, or four? They say they're four, but we know better than the batteries. It's only three of them. <laughs> <laughs> they're like 65 amp hours each. Is that right? I think I yeah, don't remember like anymore. Mid 70s. We're not, uh, for numbers people, we're not very good at remembering numbers. Not, yeah, they don't seem that relevant. <laughs> um, so we just do that and we run DC and AC power into the back of the trailer because we have computers that we charge and we have DC devices. So we just have extension cords for those and then it runs into the back of the trailer. This is not ideal in any sense of the word, but it does work. It is functional and we are living in this trailer as we build it out. So we're just kind of uh, figuring it out as we go. So we have this hole in the side of the trailer. That was initially just, it was a vent hole for um, if you have any gasoline engine things in there, you can just have that venting while you're driving and so you don't have fumes building up. And so now we're just the, unfortunately when we took the, um, the walls down, we had to pull out the cover for it and we never put the screws back in because that's kind of how our life is. And so we decided we would just use that hole for throwing our wires through and not put the screen back up. And so we just haven't done it. They sent us a new one. Um, it fell off while we were driving. So um, yeah, that happened. <laughs> I don't think there's much else that we really do to try and get set up. I mean, everything kind of stays where it is. It's all packed away and we'll probably do a video on how we unpack for like the real deal when we like set up camp somewhere. But for now, we're gonna enjoy the night and that's it for tonight. Hey, girl, is it a wonderful night? Let's go.